In today's video, I'll show you guys how to create a mirror effect in Corel Draw. So if you're new, please don't forget to subscribe. So the main purpose of this video is actually to help you create um, reflections in any objects in Corel Draw. All right. So you can use this for any designs. All right. Um, without any further ado, let's jump straight to Corel Draw. Welcome to Corel Draw, guys. So what we're going to do is change our size. And for instance, we're going to make it of 1080 by 1350 pixels. All right, so to do that, come over to um, property bar over here. In case you don't understand anything in this video, please go and watch my beginner's class. All right, please. Now, um, come to your unit and select pixels. All right, then come to your page size and select 1080 by 1350. Change to 1080 by 1350 and press enter on your keyboard. All right. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring in our rectangle tool and um, put that here. Now, to remove this black stroke, come over to this thumbnail on the right hand side of your color palette. On top, there's a line, a red line strike on it. Just um, right click on it and boom, that's what you're going to have. So, the next thing we're going to do is to import our stock image. Now, to do that, come over to File, select Import. Now, um look at this all right so i got this from pinterest and um now this is what we're going to have so now to create a mirror effect or a reflection for this um this car what you're going to do is you're going to plus it all right you're going to make it double so you're going to duplicate this object right now to do that you're going to use control c or con uh, control C to copy, then control V to paste. So once you do that, you have double of this. Now the um the other part you're going to the other option you're going to make use of is um holding your control key, then drag this way. All right. Now let's use the control C and control V option. All right. Now we have two of this car. You cannot see it, but if you if you shift it, you're going to see it. Now, what you're going to do is come over to your property bar and select mirror vertical. All right. Now, click on it. It will flip it the other way around. Now, drag this down. Drag this down. All right. Then you're going to um, basically bring this to this part. Then once you do that, you can see this is how it's going to look. Now, the next thing you're going to do is basically um, select the transparency tool. And I told you guys, transparency tool is used to either reveal or to hide. You can use it to reveal an object or to hide it. Now, we're going to hide this object and review some parts. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to hold our control key. And um, for the big boys, you can use your command key. Now, selecting your transparency tool, click and drag this way. Click and drag this way, all right? Then drag this one up. Then you can select this white thumbnail over here, then um, increase the opacity to hide it a bit. Now you can see we have created, um, we've created a reflection on this, on this, on this car, all right? Now you can see this one is actually going out of frame. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to right click and select um, power clip, then power clip it inside the rectangle we created initially. All right. Now you can actually convert to this interactive field to add the color. You can add the color. All right. You can come to um, elliptical fountain. Now you can click on this um, color node over here. Then what you're going to do is you can bring this guy over here and um, place it this way. All right so you can see the reflection on this car all right you can see the reflection so you can actually you can actually use it to create a flyer something like this all right you can see the reflection on the on the on the nate the car over there so that's what i want to explain to you guys in this tutorial so if you want to know how i created this flyer in the next video please drop me a comment in the comment section below and i will give you guys the process step by step process on how I created this particular flyer. See you guys in my next video. Peace.